Hi everyone and welcome back to my wine diary, the channel where everything is related to wine. Today we will be talking about the best books about wine on the market. Before we jump into today's video, please consider subscribing to this channel. The subscribe button is right down below as well as the little bell for notifications to come through every time I post a video. You're helping me out by subscribing, I'm helping you out by posting some fun new content every week. So. Let's do this together. Let me just start with saying that I love books. I love books about different topics, wine included. So when I say best wine books out there, now of course that's out of the books that I've read and I've had in my house. So um, mentioning the four today, I really wanted you to see it, all four of them. I will have some close-ups as well so you can see some of the pages and the content inside of each of them. Out of the four books that I have for you today, I have distinguished them from the complex ones going into the simplest to digest type of book. So let's start with the first one. And the first book that I have for you today is this one. This is Windows of the World, Complete Wine Course by Kevin's Rally. This book is absolutely gorgeous and I have not finished reading it yet just because it is informative to the max. It's got so much information in it that I've literally just skimmed through it and already learned a lot. Kevin's Rally is a very seasoned wine educator here from the United States and he wrote this book in a very entertaining teaching style. I personally think it's a great book for both beginners and savvy wine lovers as well. And what I really enjoy about this one is that it will make such a beautiful piece to add to your library or put on a coffee table somewhere like I did. I really feel like this book looks and screams sophistication and class. The moment you open it, the quality of paper, the photography, everything about it just looks very, very solid. It definitely is a beautiful piece of literature. And if you want to know how wine is made, where it's made, which countries produce wine the most, uh, look at different wine labels, this is certainly the book for you those interesting FAQs that they add after pretty much every chapter or really on every page. So as I said, great book for beginners and savvy wine lovers and um, certainly like this one a lot. Any guests that I have in the house are always drawn to flip through the pages of this one because it's such a beautiful, gorgeously illustrated book. So I love to keep it on my coffee table here. There's so many little things that I truly enjoy about this uh, particular book. It's got very interesting FAQs uh, related to every single topic that they're talking about. Illustrations are very bright. Pages are beautifully, beautifully photographed. So very nice and sleek, solid piece, and I highly recommend this one. Of course, I will link this one down below so you can find it on Amazon by simply clicking on the link in the description box. The second book that I want to talk about today is this one. This is Secrets of the Sommeliers by Rajat Parr and Jordan McKay. So McKay is actually the author of this book. He's the writer of it, and he tells us a story of Rajat Parr. Raj Parr. Rajat Par, Raj Par, he goes by Raj. I love that sommelier. He is such an interesting, very, very entertaining man. <laughs> I think the true reason why I love this book so much is because I enjoy the biography piece of it. Jordan McKay tells us a story of Raj Par, who came here from India to pursue his wine career and become a sommelier that he is nowadays. Everything about this book is very storytelling. It breaks into wines by type and explains everything about them in a very, very casual manner. As we open this book, we immediately see that it's a little bit different than any other book that I'm talking about today. As I said, it's more of a story, so you will see that there are less pictures in this one, more text, but don't get confused, it's an incredibly interesting read. As I said, so McKay tells us the story about Rajat's 
uh, coming to America and becoming a sommelier. And then he breaks into types of wine and all of the details about every single wine uh, style and production. It stresses the importance of traveling uh, to learn more about wines. That picture right there is Raj and McKay standing in Paris together. So overall amazing amazing book um, he has a section for sommeliers buying wine for restaurants and tips for them pairing wine with food uh, teaching you how to think like a sommelier and like i said the buyer's tips that i'm looking for here right now to show you uh, are super cool because i was able to search that particular wine label and wine name with a vintage that he specifies based on the iconic classic or value to see how expensive they are and actually order them myself so great book great present for someone Another thing that I think really makes this book unique is that he's got buyer suggestions through the book, as well as some bottle recommendations too. So once he finishes talking about a particular wine type, he breaks them down between iconic, classic, and value, and gives you suggestions of a few wine types with their brand and name to them. So you can actually Google those wines and purchase them online, which I think is super cool. So those are his favorites, and he gives you three different price options to choose from if you'd like to try this wine. Our third book here is this one. This is Wine Simple by Aldo Som, who is another sommelier living in New York City. He actually has a wine bar or two, I can't recall, one or two. I think it's one <laughs> that I'm dying to visit. Um, so this book here is a little bit simplified from the two books that I showed you before, hence the name Wine Simple. They really stuck to the name and truly served us um, accordingly. This book is a lot of fun. As soon as you open it, it has illustrations. It's got very bright colors to it. Everything is broken down for you in such an easy manner. It's an incredibly easy read. Wine Simple is just a punch of color. I love this book and the name really speaks for itself. It's such an easy read, easy learn about wines. Um, great introduction book to uh, wine world beginners. So I personally love going back to this one. The color illustrations and illustrations in general with the tips uh, and the font that he chooses for this book, everything about it just wants you to keep going back to it. He's got some food pairings right there so you can see by food type what wine would go better with it and the page previously to that as your wine glasses with types of wine and food down below that would go the best with them. So it really teaches you everything from how to open the bottle, for instance, um, which by the way, I have a special video on uh, all of the tools, including this particular corkscrew. And it even goes to some tricks like how to saber champagne. So really a book for everyone. Aldo makes wine very approachable in this book. So if you're ever felt being intimidated by wine or if you feel like knowing about wines was a little snobbish, he definitely debunks this and makes you comfortable knowing about wine and talking about it. So this book here, I would certainly recommend for beginners to the wine world. So if you know nothing about wine, but you want to know a lot, this book is so easy to digest and the colors make it so easy to read. The font is a little bit bigger. He writes everything out in a very, um, very approachable form so that beginners don't feel intimidated. And by the end of each chapter, he's got few tricks to remember, uh, which I love about this book. So if you have some troubles with your memory and remembering things, uh, this book has got you covered with that. The last book that I have for you today is this little one right here. And this is The 24 Hour Wine Expert by Jensis Robinson. I absolutely love Jensis. She is such a great woman. I enjoy watching her. I enjoy reading her. I enjoy listening to her. She's got her beautiful British accent, an extremely seasoned master of wine, has been writing about wine for over 40 years now. She actually writes for Financial Times as well. So she's such an incredible woman and takes everything with a little bit of humor, very entertaining to watch, to listen, and to read. 
Jan says Robinson is great. She's been around in the wine industry for a very long time now. She actually has a lot of videos here on YouTube that you can just search and uh, take a look at how she speaks about it for yourself. And this tiny book itself is only 100 pages or so, and it's really your elevator pitch to the wine world. I call it sometimes my cheat sheet to the wine world. It really covers all of the main points, and I suggest that you read it in portions uh, every couple of days. So that that's just a little trick for me to better remember certain points that she brings up. So don't let the size of this book confuse you because for me it's still a great reread too. Every once in a while I'll open it up and just flip through pages and read a few chapters over and over and over again. It's tiny but it serves a punch let me tell you and for me it's become a great book to have in a guest bedroom so that if I have any guests staying in my house they can always read this book before they go to bed. So really good present to think about that to give someone this little uh, little book completely filled with knowledge. These are all of the books that I wanted to talk about today. I love every single one of them. I constantly read through them. Even if I finished one, I would still go back to it at a certain time. You know, our memory is such a thing. You know, sometimes we get things uh, forgotten and it's always nice to go back and refresh your memory. So I will never be getting rid of them. These are my absolute favorites. All four will be linked down below with the Amazon links for you to find them. Also, give try to used book options on Amazon. Uh, um, if you're okay with sanitizing books once you got them, you can save um, dozens and dozens of dollars on a book price if somebody has used it once um, and Amazon gives you an option to either buy it new or buy it pre-owned. Once you click on pre-owned, it shows you options to choose from uh, and it also indicates the condition that the book is in. So it shows you excellent, very good, acceptable, fair, and so on. So just give that a go if you don't want to spend the full price on a brand new book. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. The subscribe button is right down below together with that little bell for you to click to get notified notifications about my new videos and make sure to like this video. YouTube really likes that algorithm. So if you like this video, you're really helping me out so I can put more interesting content out for you. I post videos every single week. You can find me on Instagram as well, where I am a little more frequent with my stories and my posts. Link to my Instagram account will be down below as well. Thank you all very much for watching me today. Let me know if you've read any one of these books in the comments down below. And until next time, cheers.